Okay, I'm doing this on the FX6100, and we'll get right to it. I'll try to make this video a lot quicker than the other ones. Um, we'll zero in. Um, I have it clocked right now at 5.0. Uh, the volts, again, are in the 1.5 range is where it's at right now. Temperature, it's right about 14 Celsius at idle. Obviously, no load, so it's cool. And what we're going to do is let's back out, and we'll go ahead and run... A test on it to see how it compares to the 965. We'll go ahead. I always forget to turn that light off. And this is clocked at 5.0. You see it's going a little faster than the the 4100, the FX 4100, which it better. Okay, and you can see it ran a 4.71, and if you scroll down, whoops, I'm sorry, it, there it is, it's at 5.0, and it ran a 4.71, there you go. So from here what I'm going to do is swing it over, and what I'll do is these are the different... Uh, benches that I ran. Let me just adjust the camera. Hopefully. I want to make sure you guys can see it all. Okay, so so what I did with the test is a Cinebench 11.5 um, is here, 3D Mark 06 is over on the other side, um, and you can see at a stock, at a 3.3 um, and it, of course it turbos itself up, you got a 4.06 so it actually went the same speed as a, uh, the Phenom, the 965, clocked at 3.4. Okay, so it, it had the same, when it comes to Cinebench, it, clock, it did the exact same thing. Um, from there, I overclocked it right up to 4 gig. Uh, stock voltage, so I didn't touch the, just the multiplier, no extra voltage. Um, you can see it did a 450. When you overclocked it to 4.4, I had to bump a little voltage on it, 4.4. It does 460, 466, and then 472 when you're at the 5.0, okay? Again, obviously cranking up the volts where they shouldn't be just to keep it to where it's stable to run tests, uh, no blue screens, that kind of stuff. So, um, but if you come over here with 3D Mark, for scaling, it actually, it scales better than the 8150 in my opinion, and it jumps up when you, when you obviously clock it. When it gets into the, into the four range, it slows down at that point. Um, I don't know what that score was. It didn't even score as high. And then um, it actually, when it was clocked at a higher, um, the voltages either were t either knocking it down, um, disabling cores at that point. Um, it never got over 36 Celsius, but still, um, obviously, it doesn't work too well when it comes to video in that point there. But you can sort of understand at this point, it's very similar to, um, really, in my opinion, the six cores like a, uh, a 965 in my opinion but um, obviously if it goes into the multi-thread applications it should in theory um, work better than the 965 so at least you would hope so but there you go um, I wanted to make a quick video on it didn't want to drag it out that much but if you have questions obviously post them if you want me to run some um, benchmarks or something you know I'll do that I can um, rerun them or whatever so other than that have a great day